Good afternoon and thank you for joining us on the news at noon. I'm Rachel Goldhart. We are on the scene of a military plane crash here in Clovis. Now the plane was from Cannon Air Force Base and it crashed in a field across from 21st Street, which is about a quarter of a mile from the Clovis Municipal Airport. And emergency crews are making a stay this far away as personnel continues to work on the scene you can see up there. We have now confirmed with DPS spokesperson Cindy Barkley that four people have died in this accident. There is no word if anyone else in the vehicles or if anyone was transported to the hospital. The accident happened two miles north of Dumas in the northbound lanes, and she told us the accident happened just after five this morning. We have breaking news this afternoon about the active shooter situation at Walmart and I-27 in South Georgia. At this time, police have confirmed that the suspect has been shot by police and is apparently dead. Police have also confirmed the hostages inside are all safe. Police are still asking motorists to avoid the area as they continue their investigation. The program allows 14 to 20 year olds to shadow officers in various departments to learn more about the police force. This is probably one of the days where we eat the most calories throughout the year. Now we're here with Lisa. She is a drill sergeant here <laughs> at Gold's Gym. We're going to show you a few things that you can do at home to kind of burn off some of those calories and feel a little bit less guilty, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Since today's the day that most people are going to consume a ton of calories, um, we wanted to break it down for you and give you some exercises to show you how to burn off first some appetizers. Our top story today is the possibility of high fire danger as strong winds fuel already dry conditions in some areas. Joining us now for the latest on your forecast is StormTrack 10 meteorologist Alan Gwynn. Hi, Alan. Welcome back in today's Mr. Food. Howard shows us how to make cheesy potato tot chicken. Let's check it out. Tax season is underway and the IRS is now accepting your tax returns. If you claim the earned income tax credit or the additional child tax credit, those returns will be held until February 15th. Good morning, Matt. Operation Christmas Child needs your help filling up the shoe boxes. Now, since 1993, Operation Christmas Child has collected and delivered more than 135 million gift filled shoe boxes to children in more than 150 countries and territories. You may be used to seeing orange pumpkins around Halloween, but this year there is a new color on some porches. Teal. The teal pumpkins are used to bring awareness to the fact that one in every 13 kids in the U.S. have a food allergy. Yeah, they might have some type of food allergies, so we just want to bring awareness to the fact that this time of year when kids go door to door, maybe the parents don't have as much control over the food, that there are options out there to provide so that everybody stays healthy. Halloween can be a frightening time for parents as they try to keep their kids safe. But placing a teal pumpkin on your porch indicates you are giving away safe and allergy free items on October 31st. Either non food items such as pencils, tattoos, stickers or allergy friendly foods and maybe fruit leather, uh, you know, something like that. When I say allergy friendly, I mean free of the top eight allergens, especially things like tree nuts and peanuts and wheat that might you find in candy. Founded in 2014, the Teal Pumpkin Project is working to give every trick or treater with food allergies a safe alternative to traditional candy that might make them sick. It's a major issue, especially to those who have children with severe allergies. And keep in mind, some of these allergies can be life threatening. We want to help bring awareness to the community on, hey, here's a way that we can do something that everyone can be safe. Local supermarkets, including Market Street United, are partnering with the project to help raise awareness for food allergies this Halloween. You are able to purchase already painted teal pumpkins or a pumpkin painting kit to pledge to keep your home allergy free. And remember, this Halloween night, teal is the new orange. Rachel Goldhart, News Channel 10. Um, I don't think so. I think it sounds like a lot of great exercise for a great cause. Oh, well, we just haul hay and build fence out in the cowboy world. I'm not, I'm not strong enough for that. You could be. I, maybe if I did more Zumba. And, well, if you're uh, headed out chasing Pokemons Friday and Saturday, temperatures in the low 100s, it's going to be steamy. Well, how'd you know, Alan? <laughs> Easy to figure out. All right, thank you, and have a great day.